आनंद शर्मा प्रसन्न आचार्य प्रसन्न आचार्य Whether to participate in this discussion or not, because most of the opposition members, they have decided not to participate for their own reason. But finally, I thought, if I miss any opportunity in this house to discuss about the problems of the farmers, to discuss about the crisis the farming sector is facing now, then I will do a crime against the farmers of this country. Therefore, my party and myself. We decided to participate in the discussion to highlight the problems of the farmers, to highlight what are the defects in the agriculture bill that has been passed a couple of months before, to highlight the defects of farmers, the loss and growth of farmers in the world now. Therefore, sir, on behalf of the my party, I am participating in this discussion and I will highlight some of the problems. कहते हैं कि मेरी सरकार गरीबों इस देश की ज्यादा से ज्यादा गरीब किसान भी है सर मैक्सिमम पुअर ऑफ दिस कंट्री फार्मर्स ऑफ द कंट्री स्मॉल फार्मर्स Land and farmers and the farm laborers, the poor people of this country. I wonder, this government is committed to the five certain reasons. I am not describing who is responsible. The people who are fighting the war. We have been discussed. We have also ruled this country. Farmers to improve their problem. We can see that continuing our independence. Let me let the poor. Sir, the culture has remained. The social economic stability. Rural India. It occupies central stage in the economy. High employment to 60 percent of our population. Sir. Employment to around 60 percent of our population. Sir, our agriculture production has increased. We have successfully gone through the Green Revolution, the first Green Revolution, second Green Revolution. Our agriculture production has increased. But what has not increased is the income of the farmers. The farmers have been able to increase the agro production of this country, but the government is afraid to increase the income of the farmers. That is the plight of the farmers, sir. That is the misery of the farmers, sir. Sir, this government committed in 1920, 2014. It was the election manifest of the Bharatiya Janata Party. That after coming to power, within five years or six years, they will double the income of the farmers. Sir, you will be astonished to know the NSSO Situation Assessment Survey of Agricultural Household 2000. One year before this government came to power, the average monthly income of farmers was 6,426 rupees only. And sir, in our study of 2016-17, the income of the farmers has been increased to only 8,931 rupees during the last four or five years. This has not been doubled. And you will be more surprised to know, sir, unfortunately, NSO has not conducted any survey on income for agricultural households after 2013. The last survey by NSO 
about the income of the army was in 2013. And through the last seven, eight years, the NSF was not made any study. And sir, the government claimed that they have been able to double the income of the family. It is a misnomer, sir. It is not the fact. Sir, the increase of its inflation, the farm income remains steady. Even so, the decline over the last seven years. But the farmer's income has not been doubled. It is not a huge step, but the farmer's income has been doubled. Sir, most of the farmers in the country are the farmers. The senior member, marginal farmers, Senior member is sitting behind you. Most of the farmers in the country are marginal farmers. They are small landholders, sir. And whenever you talk of the farmers, you must worry, worry about couple of rich farmers. They are not the representative of the real farmers in this country. As I say, majority of the farmers in this country are small farmers, landland farmers, or medium farmers. They are not rich farmers, sir. So whenever we check out the program for the farmers, it is a basic responsibility of government to first take into consideration the problem of the small farmer and the small farmer, sir. Sir, we are happy that during the last pandemic, income in all sectors has gone down. The industry has gone down. In trade and commerce, it has gone down. In public sector, it has gone down. It is only a where the farmers of the country have been able to increase the income of the in the farm sector even during the corona time. That is the contribution of the farmers of this country. And that is the contribution of the small farmers of this country. But we never have to about the, about, about the farmers, sir. Sir, government is boasting about the PM Kishan Nidhi. The Kaliya program of Naveen Pandagi. We have launched a program which is called Kaliya. Kaliya is launched. And then why I draw a comparison between these two? There is no time and there is no atmosphere to discuss about the Kaliya program and the PM Kisan Nidhi program details, sir. One thing I will say, the Kisan Nidhi scheme only covers 80 to 90 million farmers against the target of 140 million farmers in this country. Only 6,000 people are in sir. Sir, the Swami Commission report when we discuss about the farmers, when we discuss about the farm price, when we discuss about the increase of the farmers in the land, obviously, naturally, the recommendation of the Swami Commission Thank you. Thank you. Sir, can this government say with their hand in their chest, in the name of the Kishar, they in the true sense they have implemented the Swami Nathan Commission. They have not implemented the Swami Nathan Commission. It has been the demand of Biju Janata Dal and our leader Nathan Commission. Please implement the Swami Nathan Commission report in the same place. You passed the agriculture bill. You have not mentioned a single line about the implementation of the Swami Nathan Commission. आप लिखो इस कानून में आप लिखो आप कानून में प्रावधान करो कि आप किसान को एमएसपी दोगे इस बार दर कमेटी के सामने कंट्रोल क्या है? You are not done. Time is over. I have given you three minutes. Two minutes. You are not done. It is very injustice for the farmer sir. So we are astonished to know. On the one hand, we are claiming that we have doubled the income of the farmer. What is the rate of suicide of the farmer sir? Just I will mention two data, sir. Sir, the National Crime Record Bureau, NSRB data showed in 2019, 32,549 daily wages labor committed suicide who are working in the farm sector. In 2019, as per the NCRB data, 42,480 farmers and his daily wages committed suicide. It is 6% more than the previous year. This is the plight of the farmers. Why the farmers are committing suicide, sir? Therefore, sir, there are many points to be mentioned about the plight of the farmers of this country, sir. There is no question. Finally, I will appeal to this government, please be considerate about the farmers. Thank you. Last sentence, sir. 
हम लोग किसान को भगवान